So, <clears throat> you're working on this plumbing stuff. You got to be careful. Uh, first of all, uh, okay, you're working on old plumbing, and you got to be careful so you don't bust anything down the line. So, if you're uh, twisting a valve, you're twisting a bolt on a valve or something, you gotta you gotta kind of hold it stationary. So you don't loosen up any of the uh, fittings or uh, joints down the line. It's particularly if you're working on uh, your copper lines, old copper lines. Definitely want to be shutting off the gas valve. I mean, excuse me, the water main valve. If you're replacing the valves. Um, thing with plumbing is you want to kind of take that extra step. We make sure you got all your materials, all your tools you need. Uh, to make sure that you're, you don't have to run back and forth to whatever the hardware store kind of thing. And uh, you don't want to have any any gray areas where you have a possibility of any drips. So if you need to get the, the extra Teflon tape, you need to get the extra thing, you want to make sure you're good to go. And uh, okay, so you can't mess around with water, basically, particularly if you're working upstairs. Um, you know, you're, if you, you don't have much experience and you don't want to mess with this stuff because you get a plumbing leak somewhere, drip somewhere, you're going to have problems somewhere down the line. Uh, you don't want to over tight fittings if you don't have to. Uh, and you just want to make sure you got it nice and secure basically. Uh, what else? Okay, videos for informational purposes only. Uh, working with water plumbing, it could be hazardous, so uh, just be really careful. And uh, yeah, consult the professional uh, as required. Okay, where's that water shutoff? Gee, guys, you ain't got nothing to do except watch me go look for this water shutoff valve, right? Where is that water shutoff valve? Oh my God, I can't seem to find it anywhere. This has been on here like uh, prehistoric. Um, we're gonna heat it up, cap on it. Be careful with this copper fitting stuff. Could crack this if you tweak on this too hard. We're gonna just put these new ones on. Heat that up.
Now we don't have much to work with here. You can see I got that real hot. I put this around here. Got that in there. You wrap it inside so it gets a little bit over that lip. Put that up in there. We're not going to mess with that. Uh, whatever the ferrule, the olive. I'm not going to mess with it. We're just going to make sure that everything's kind of gooped up. Okay, pretty much got it all hooked up. All hookered up. So, I'll probably cut these off. I'm just going to leave them. Everything's tight. I don't like the way those things swivel up there. They're made to swivel so you don't break them off at the valve. But those connections up there, they swivel. So you have to grab them with a wrench. I guess they're made to swivel so you don't bust them off the valve. So, let's turn the water on. So it's holding water. Just turn it on. There's a quarter turn valves. Now I got water. This thing. Okay. So that has to be on, I think, for this to work. Everything's on. It's all on. It's not 
not leaking. Good to go. Oh. Nightmare recovery. Okay. Just remember, be careful when you take these off. I used heat. You can use it. You can see I used the torch here. Kind of heated up that a little bit. I got to pull that off because I just don't want to put too much on this. Too much pressure on this. I didn't, did not want to crack anything behind this. I didn't get it so hot that it melted any of the solder. This one here, I didn't get as hot as that one. This one actually hasn't been on as long. It wasn't on, on as long because they put this in afterwards. That one was a tricky one. Yeah, good go. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Another day in the life of a handyman.